as the storm continues to strengthen, mandatory evacuations could be put into effect. It is important to know if you will be impacted. This image shows multiple colors, which indicates your evacuation zone. This is one of the most popular questions we get uh, whenever we're watching a tropical storm or hurricane. Where is my evacuation zone? So be sure to take a close look at this map. Get familiar with it tonight at six. We're going to actually walk you through all of this to find out which evacuation zone you're located in. And as Dorian continues to gain momentum, business owners in St. John's County are prepping for the worst. Yeah, on your side, Nick Perot actually spoke with the owner of a few properties who says she's learned her lesson following hurricanes Matthew and Irma, Nick. Well, Anthony, that's right. Here at Marker 8, Virginia Whetstone, the owner of this property here and a few more in St. Augustine, says her real concern is actually these first floor set of rooms. Reason why Hurricane Matthew brought some 24 inches of rain on her property. Again, that right now, I'll give you an idea, is about halfway up my thigh here and about three to four inches during Hurricane Irma inside the rooms. She says she's certainly learned her lesson. We used a lot of sandbags and the sandbags did not work. Two of Virginia Whetstone's properties, East of the Bridge of Lions, Marker 8 and the Edgewater Inn suffered water damage following Hurricane Matthew. This high, all the way down. Following Irma, Whetstone said they found using good old fashioned four inch tape across the door frames helped keep out a majority of the water on their properties. We had 12 inches of water outside the building, but we only ended up with three inches inside the building. They've already made trips for tape and caulk that they'll be using if needed. Whetstone says the main concern are the 14 first floor units. If an evacuation order is issued, staff will move the furniture upstairs to open units. Whetstone has already made calls to have a moving company on standby at the Edgewater Inn to move furniture off that property for the time being. As for customers, since the path is still unclear, you had plans to stay at these properties, you can cancel for free. If the weather turns out to be nice, we want the guests to come and enjoy St. Augustine. But if it doesn't, we don't want them to take a risk. And back out here live, Whetstone says, as of this morning, management telling me there have been a few cancellations. Now, she also has reached out to the city of a nearby sewer to plug the sewer to prevent the city's system if it does overflow from overflowing here onto her property. We're in St. Augustine tonight. Nick Perot, First Coast News on your side.